Hey, what's going on everybody? This is G and I'm a rowdy rooster looking for a hungry hen. In this video, we're back at one of my favorite locals, Hungry Hen. Now I did record a video for Hungry Hen many moons ago. To be honest, now I look back at some of those videos, they're pretty cringy. So I almost want to redo some of those old videos of different places that I tried, locals. But continuing the Aussie Burger series, I thought I'd go to Hungry Hen and try a burger that I've actually never tried before from there. Now Hungry Hen calls this an old school burger. So Hungry Hen, old school burger, it has a beef patty, beetroot relish, lettuce, tomato, red onion, ketchup, cheese, bacon, an egg, and house sauce. Now, I really love the house sauce from Hungry Hen. Now, I'm a bit of a fan of burger sauce, and that's basically what it is. You know, kind of like a creamy, sweet, sour sort of sauce. If you don't know what a burger sauce is, what have you been doing your whole life? Sometimes people cut up a pickle and put that through the sauce and yeah, it's absolutely delicious. I did order this through Menulog and it was $22.90. And that's the burger and chips. Now, if you go in store, it is $14.90 for the burger. Or you can make it a meal, which costs $6 and that gets you a can of drink of your choice and it gets the small chips. Now, unfortunately, Hungry Hen doesn't do battered potato. So, yeah, I really think that they should put some battered potato on the menu because their food is top tier. So, I'm not sure how hard it would be to add battered potato to their menu. But I know that they would do some really good battered potato. I got their version of hamburger with a lot. I got, obviously, a portion of chips. I wasn't able to get the battered potato. And that's basically what my... Aussie Burger series is. But I thought I'd be a bit cheeky and get their house sauce. The house sauce? And the old school burger. I have to point out this food came cold so I'm pretty disappointed. I had to throw it in the microwave just to warm it up a little bit. So I felt the burger and the wrapper was only warm so I just knew the burger inside was going to be, you know, going on cold. Now the chips I had and they were cold so I had to heat them up as well. The hungry Hens do a really nice chicken salt. And I can really see these are seasoned well. So these are funky and delicious. Well seasoned, a nice crunch to it. And also nice and fluffy in the center. A really nice potato flavor. And also that chicken salt is absolutely perfection. Absolutely delicious that is. Now I did get the house sauce, but these are so well seasoned, you probably don't need a sauce with them. They're delicious as is. But I'll open the house sauce. House sauce is nice and creamy. It has a nice sour vinegar sort of smell coming off it. Let's give this a try with the chip. Mm. It's got like a sort of, I guess, mayonnaise, ketchup sort of flavor coming off it. And you can definitely taste that it has pickles in this. Yeah, it's absolutely delicious. Nice, creamy, a little bit sour, vinegary. Absolutely perfect. I love this sauce. And that's why I tend to get it when I get Hungry Hen. I mean, it is $4, but you do get a lot in there. They probably could put these in a smaller tub. But I absolutely love this sauce, so I'll devour all of this. But it might be a nice idea to put them in smaller tubs and, you know, maybe charge like, you know, one, two dollars or whatever. Even though I had to heat up those chips, they're still absolutely delicious. Sometimes when you reheat chips, they go all soggy or they lose their flavor. Now they still have a nice crunch to it. They're still soft inside and that chicken salt, they're nice and well seasoned. All right, let's try a burger that I haven't tried from Hungry Hen before. The old school burger. You've got to watch yourself with this lot. I mean, they, they, times are changing. They ain't no respecters of the old school. Oh, bollocks. There's no school like the old school, and I'm the fucking headmaster. That's why he come to me. Got it? Okay, so here is the Hungry Hen old school burger. So you get the egg, the bacon, the cheese, the beef, 
unfortunately this has probably been sitting for a while you know waiting for the delivery driver because just the salad's gone a little bit soggy and i hate that when that happens you know like the tomato soggy the lettuce is soggy this this beetroot relish is obviously sort of gone all through the salad and it's sort of made it yeah a little bit soggy underneath who wants to eat wet hamburger buns bob but let's give it a try hungry hen old school burger cheers I've got no server yet, either, so I'll be right back because it's dripping all over my feet and everywhere. Okay, so I got my server yet. All right, I'll have a couple more bites, then I'll give it a rating. But yeah, the beef has this nice charred flavour, which I absolutely love. So the beetroot relish is okay. I feel beetroot slice might be a bit better so I guess the the beetroot flavor is a little bit more subtle here so the egg is absolutely delicious in this it adds you know like a nice creamy flavor to the burger then you have the bacon which adds a nice meaty flavor adds some saltiness you have the beef which is really nice unfortunately the salad's a little bit soggy and and some of those and some of those sauces get a little bit lost like it has ketchup house sauce which i'm not really tasting and it has that relish that beetroot relish not really getting that much onion i think it's cut quite small but yeah the bun is nice and soft overall it's a decent burger but i tend to always get the stack burger from hungry hen and that's my kind of burger this is still absolutely awesome but i'd pay that a couple more dollars personally and get the stack burger that beetroot relish is really nice though. I really like that. So my rating for Hungry Hen, Old School Burger, and their chips and house sauce. I mean, to be honest, you know, I really like the sauce. That's basically a 10 out of 10. Their sauce is absolutely awesome. Their chips are really good. Unfortunately, it did come a little bit cold. So I'm going to give the old school burger an 8.8 out of 10. It is really good. Definitely recommend to give it a try, especially if you like a hamburger with the lot. But Hungry Hen do a lot of awesome food. This is one of my regular places that I go to. Normally it comes piping hot and the weather is a little bit colder today. It is raining and stuff out there. Probably an issue with the delivery service, unfortunately. But either way, I did have to throw it in the microwave for 30 seconds. A little bit disappointing, but the food still tastes good. Just adding that little bit of heat to it, I think really helped it as well. You know, in the comments, if you've tried Hungry Hen, I definitely recommend to go and give them a try. If you do go to Hungry Hen, what do you order? What's your favourite burger or meal from Hungry Hen? Maybe if I haven't reviewed it, I might give it a try. I'm definitely going to do a few more Hungry Hen reviews this year. But I thought I'd try that old school burger so I can continue doing my Aussie burger series. Now my rating for the price of Hungry Hen old school burger was about $20 and some change. And I think that's a fairly good deal for a nice size burger, a nice portion of chips. And obviously if you go into the restaurant you can get a can of drink. So I'm going to give that an 8.5 out of 10. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could please like, please subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. This was G from Funkin' Hungry, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.